Today we're talking about punk rock and we're gonna have a look at the style, technique and songwriting tricks of Mike Dern of Green Day. Strongly influenced by the punk rock godfathers, the Ramones, Green Day formed in the late 80s but they didn't reach popularity until 1994, when their major label debut, Dookie, became a breakout success, eventually selling over 10 million copies in the US only. Mike Dern's playing style is the perfect combination of a rough and overdriven tone, melodic hooks and great rhythmic finesse. A very good analogy for a band that combined the raw energy of punk with modern pop melodies and some writing standards. First of all, he's tight as hell. Do you know when you listen for the first time to the isolated track of your favorite bass player and you find out that he or she is not as tight as you thought? Well, this is not the case. Whether it's a quick fill to underline a new section of the song, a classic pulsing eighth note line, or laying out during a drum or guitar break, Mike is really good at knowing how to fill spaces, and his bass tone plays a big part in crafting the sound of Green Day. So I put together a few tips that will help you understand what works for him, and some stuff that you can use to upgrade your own playing. At the end of the video I will demonstrate how to turn a regular punk bass line into a Green Day one, so make sure you watch till the end. Tip number one, highlight the major third of the chord. Most of the happy punk melodies in Green Day's music are based around major chords. The happy note, or the note that tells a major chord from a minor one, is the third. For a C chord, it's an E for the major chord. minor chord. So by putting an emphasis on the major third, you're cranking up the happiness of the chord. And Mike does that all the time, whether it's just a lick or it's a part of the main bass line. Tip number two, use quick octave jumps. Sneaking in a quick octave jump every now and then is another typical feature of Mike's playing. The high note popping up helps creating movement without moving away from the root. This tends to fill out the space more, despite the fact that he might be playing the same rhythm in part, providing the band with a welcome dynamic lift. Tip number three, use partial chords or two note chords arpeggios. Arpeggios on two note chords, normally root and fifth or root and third, are another recurring theme in Green Day's bass lines. This is a very simple trick that can get you really creative results, especially when interacting with the guitar. Also, since it's normally played on the higher part of the neck, it can add a different texture to the sound and gives you the opportunity to go down to the lower note for dynamics and dramatic effects. useful trick for a power trio that can be also used under guitar solos for a change, or like Mike does, it can be the song intro, setting the stage and outlining the harmonic movement before the guitar enters. Tip number 4, pick right over the pickup. Mike uses mostly Fender Precision basses through a Fender Bassman 800 and apparently doesn't need to use any pedal other than a volume boost. 
because your low end just drops out when you use a pedal most of the time. Also, despite being inspired by the Ramones, he prefers to use alternate picking most of the time. But one thing you can do to get the dirty, fat precision sound is to move your picking area right over the pickup. Tip number five, add a little boost on your EQ around two kilohertz. Mike has a very crispy sound that really punches through the mix. That's due to a lot of factors, including bass, amp, strings and pick. But a good general rule to get close to the treble tone is to boost your EQ around the two kilohertz. That should give you that crispy sound without getting in the way of the guitar. Using new strings helps very much. Tip number six, slides on chord changes. On slow songs like Boulevard of Broken Dreams or 21 Guns, Mike often adds a little slide to underline the chord changes. Mike Dirt exercises consistency over variation, which is an essential characteristic of the punk style, but he also takes a more complex approach when the time is right. A handful of songs on the more recent Green Day production feature longer or medley style compositions that really highlight the bass during transitions or introductions. And for the punk genre, Mike takes things up a notch by locking in with the drummer in accenting the rhythm adding emphasis and giving even more power to the power trio. So make sure you let me know what you think about Mike and Green Day in the comments below. And let me know what bass player you would like me to review next. I read every comment. Thank you very much for watching. Stick around for a practical demonstration. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram.